Hello, hello, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to do, or attempt to do properly, the weight and the balance. Now, I know you're probably thinking that uh, we're not quite there yet, but for all intents and purposes, we have everything built. I'm gonna remove some of the Clecos because I kind of figured out that one Cleco weighs about as much as 20 or 22 rivet heads. So we'll just put a few Clecos in, remove all the blankets, put the interior in, and uh, all the fairings and access covers and uh, get as close as possible. So that'll be one thing uh, to be done. George is on his way up to Maine to uh, pick up some scales that Southern Maine Aviation is letting us borrow. And there's basically three scales, one for each main wheel, one for the tail wheel. I brought a bunch of wood up in case we need to ramp it up and uh, some spacers to get the back level. Already worked on that. And glad to report the temperature is more in line with 71 degrees. So beautiful working weather, totally love it. And uh, I think the first order of business before George gets back is to get the plane ready to weigh. Here we go. Well, that's what the interior of the plane looks like. It's good to see it all back together again. Very, very nice. I think George is going to put in the panels. He just got some scales here from Southern Maine. Ah, good stuff. All right, time to put some outside parts on. All right, time to drill some, drain some usable fuel. So I did some uh, basic math, kind of figured out Clecos weigh about, weigh about 15 grams and uh, rivet heads, rivets minus to stem weigh something like a third of a gram. So for every 21 or so rivets, you want to have one Cleco. Short of it is, remove as many Clecos as possible. Still draining fuel. This is kind of a tedious process because it's so slow. I was very tempted to unboot, un uncowl it, and just uh, take the gasculator off. But uh, now that I figured out, I can just kind of clamp it and do it on its own. We're working on that. We have the scales set up. Amazon Web Services, everything Amazon. And. Uh, now we're gonna make a little ramp or something to try and wheel it up on that. Okay, so the real question is how much is it gonna weigh? You said 1026. 1026. What did I say? 1030? Yeah. I'm thinking actually 1050. 
So we'll see. We'll see who buys dinner. So it looks like we have 516 plus 507. I don't know why this, uh, oh, maybe we have less air in this tire. That's why 10 pounds less. That's why it's lighter. And 55, oh, it went up to 56. Bird must have crept on it. The ones in the front went down, so. Okay. So we're looking at like 1070. Now we gotta do some measuring. We did some double checking from the firewall measurements. I used a laser level, but I actually went from the firewall here, which is about, you know, I don't know, three quarters of an inch in. And all our measurements compared to the factory ones were off by give or take a half an inch. So I'm not sure if they measured it from right where the boot cowl, sorry, the cowling meets this area. But um, we just double checked to the best of our ability with the laser level and regular levels to the wheels to the header tank the center of the header tank we had 60 inches now we have added our smoke tank uh i have the weight somewhere i gotta look it up or i can take it out and measure it weigh it that was 64 inches um this was the center of the, the header tank and so the tail wheel was 211 and a half inches and the mathematician is adding all of this stuff in here can we fly yep all right let's go it's raining damn it i knew this was going to happen we got uh we got a little over 700 um actually what a little under 700 pounds just to load perfect all right so in conclusion this uh i guess will be the weight and balance uh video done amateur style here but uh pretty straightforward no gotchas built a couple of temporary ramps to roll it up on there i guess there's a concern if you have spring gear that if you like lift it up and then put it down it like side loads it and may skew your measurements so we decided to just roll it up and yeah it was uh pretty straightforward right george and then the measurements you got basically were from the Rams manual, is that correct? Um, or the Rams? I'm not sure exactly where the spreadsheet came from, but I think uh, there was a spreadsheet supplied somewhere on uh, either the Rams forum or on um, uh, the website. Okay. That's kind of what we used. It's... And we're pretty much in the ballpark. Oh yeah. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See ya.